In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Stream Deck to add timestamps to your live recordings. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. Now, if you are a regular viewer of my videos, you may notice that sometimes I have timestamps in them uh, and sometimes I don't. Uh, well, hopefully going forward, uh, that should all be <laughs> fixed uh, and they'll all have nice, neat timestamps. But what am I actually talking about with timestamps? Well, uh, in YouTube videos, you have the ability to add uh, stamps to the timeline uh, to basically show uh, where different sections are. So if I scrub along here, you can see that there's this little sort of break in the line here uh, and it's got a little title. And as I scroll through, uh, this is one section, in this case, Ecamm Live Profiles. Uh, and then as I go to the next section, it says Ecamm Live uh, Interview Mode. And so there's different sections in the video, basically. Uh, and so this means that as the viewer, you can basically scrub through and you can see where the end of one section is and the next one is starting. It also has helps with uh, uh, Google search because you may have uh, searched for something before on Google uh, and then it's thrown up a video and in fact highlighted an exact section of the video uh, that is relevant. Well, that is where there have been timestamps added into it. Now, YouTube is actually getting good at sort of figuring out these things itself, but certainly having the timestamps in there helps. Uh, and so it does all help with search. Well, how do you actually add those in as the YouTube creator? Well, uh, if I come back over to YouTube Studio, uh, you can see here that this is that same video that I just showed you. Uh, this is the description. And then down here, I've also got the timestamps, which are in this format, basically. Uh, so it's just a case of having the, uh, the time in minutes and seconds or hours, minutes and seconds, whichever, depending on the length of your video uh, and then having those separated with a colon and then a space and then the title that you want to give that section. Uh, so it starts with zero zero uh, and then call that the introduction or whatever uh, and then as I say just go through and add these wherever they are. So the issue that I have with this is I record all of my videos live to tape in one take, not necessarily the first take, sometimes I fluff the beginning a little bit <laughs> um, but uh, so I have to do that so to, to actually add in those timestamps I have to go back and re-watch my video which is something that I never really enjoy doing in any case um, I do do it at double speed though just to uh, make the pain end sooner <laughs> um, but still nevertheless I have actually got to go through and watch it and actually by the time I've sort of paused to make a note of the time write down a, a you know a whatever the title needs to be, uh, then usually it's probably about the length of the video in any case. So for a half hour video, it's pretty much adding an, another half hour onto my workflow. And uh, yeah, there's just always a little bit of friction there to go back and watch my things again. So um, I w wanted to have a way that I could sort of uh, speed this up and short of getting someone else to do it for me, <laughs> which has happened in the past. Thank you very much. You know who you are. <laughs> um, they're, they're, must have been uh, an easier way. And I st stumbled across this when I was looking at some other stuff to do with uh, Stream Deck and looking at some of the other plugins and noticed they'd got a plugin that was actually called Timestamp. So let's go and have a look at how to, uh, how to get this and I'll show you how it works. Um, so first of all, uh, the plugins are all available from the Stream Deck store. Everything in there is free at the moment. I'm sure that will change in, in time, but for the moment, everything in there is free. So what you do is just, uh, let me put it a bit quick there. Click on the little uh, icon just up at the top of Stream Deck. It will open up the Stream Deck store uh, and then come down to the uh, left hand side and click on plugins. Uh, and then you just want to search for timestamp and you'll see the plugin just there and click on the big blue install button. I've already done it, so it's not blue anymore. <laughs> but once you do that, it will appear in the, uh, the plugin section over on the right hand side. And I've created a little folder just so that we can play around with this. Um, so here we can see timestamp at the bottom. And there's basically two actions there. There is one which is new log. That is where we're going to start our new file because it's basically going to generate a text file for us. Uh, and then the next one is where we're going to uh, actually add the uh, marker points into that text file. So uh, the first one here, uh, as I say, is the new log. So this is where we're going to create the new file. So we want to give it a title. I'm just going to be very original and call it timestamp. Uh, and then the file name. I'm going to call this one timestamp, but I do want to add a unique identifier to it. And the way that I do that in uh, file naming is I always just give it a complete timestamp with, you know, year, month, day, and so on, and then the time down to the seconds. 
Fortunately, you can automate that or make that easier in here because there are some amendments you can add uh, or additions rather that you can append to the file name. Uh, so if I click on this button over on the right hand side, uh, down here I can add the, the day, the month, the year. So I'm going to start with the year. Then I'm going to add the month. Then I'm going to add the day. And then I'm going to add the hours and the minutes and the seconds like that. So now that is basically a unique file name because we won't be starting to within the same second. <laughs> so now I've got a unique file name uh, and doing it in reverse order like that, starting with the year, going back to the seconds. It means that when you sort your files uh, in your finder uh, alphabetically, then they will be in sort of chronological order. So um, so that is that. And then the next one we want to do is uh, save to a specific location. So we can choose the folder. Uh, and I'm going to have these saving to uh, basically uh, my Ecamm Live recording folder. So I'm going to click on that one. And then uh, what we can do is we can start looking at adding in the timestamps themselves. So that is using this little marker function. So here you've basically got two different options. You can either uh, have, in fact, let me just give this one a name for the action <laughs> or time marker. Let's call it a marker, shall we? Um, and you've got a few different options. So the uh, the text that you want to add in, you can uh, add in either the uh, the elapsed time or the system time, or you can create something of your own. So I'm just going to show you uh, how this uh, looks if you use each of these. So in fact, let's call this one system because this will be the one where we're using the system time. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this one uh, and paste it. And then the text, you can use whatever text you want. So uh, coming back here a minute, it's just taking a moment to load up. That's funny. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so I'm just going to put sample text like that. And you can see the date format. You can choose the date format that you want from there. These aren't the ones that I would recommend using. We'll create our own custom one in a moment, but I just want to show you uh, what the different formats look like. So this one, instead of using the system time, we're going to use the elapsed time. And I'm going to put sample text like that. Uh, but then what we're going to do is, and this is the one that I would recommend you doing, is if we come in here and then we'll, I'm just going to call this one uh, YouTube <laughs> because it is the way that we want the text to be for YouTube and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that sample text uh, and then I'm just going to add in the timestamp and what we want to do is we want to add in the time since the log was created because we're obviously starting from the beginning of our video so we want to just track it as it goes through so here what I'm going to do is uh, click on this one hour since log created again that little uh, box at the right hand side then I'm going to add a colon then I'm going to click minute since log created, then another colon, and then we'll do seconds since log created. So now what's going to happen is if I come and uh, press this button here, so I'm actually going to start, you'll see it's gone green to signify that the, uh, the log has started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the system time twice just to log two different system times. Then I'm going to click on this elapsed time button so I'm going to click on that one two times. And then I'm going to click on this one, which is our sort of YouTube formatted timestamp. Uh, so when I click on that one twice, uh, we'll get to uh, of those timestamps. And this will all make sense in a moment, by the way. Uh, and now I'm just going to come back over to here and I'm just going to press the button again to end the log. So there you go. It's changed to the blue color. Obviously, you can update these icons and give them something more meaningful to yourself. Uh, and so now I'm going to go into my folder with my uh, where the timestamp has been stored. And if I open this text file up, you'll see that it has basically recorded this. So I'll make that text a little bit bigger. So if you remember the first one, I used the, uh, the system timestamp. And you can see it says timestamp and it's given as our system time. And then it's put the text in that we had added. The next one I did was the elapsed time. Uh, and that actually says elapsed time. It's given us the elapsed time. Uh, and then it's got the text and given us the, uh, the text that we had put in there as well. And the final one, which is the one that I think is the one that we're going to be interested in, is this one. <laughs> Sorry, that was just off the screen there. Is this one, uh, which is basically just the, uh, the time with the hour, colon, minute, colon, second. So that is basically giving us our list of timestamps. 
So the way that I'm going to use this is I'm literally just going to have uh, one button, which is this YouTube one. I'm going to get rid of those right now. Uh, I'm only going to use this one. So this one is going to start my timestamp log uh, and this one is going to record my times. Uh, and so then what I'll end up with is just a single file which won't have any of this in it and it'll literally just have a list of uh, timestamps. I'm then going to go through my video and just make sure if I haven't remembered <laughs> that uh, exactly what was in there. So I just need to go in here and basically add in my titles. So uh, whatever the uh, the section title was, I'll just be able to go through and add those all in. If you were doing something uh, a little bit more structured, <laughs> then uh, what you can also do is you could actually go and create buttons for each of the sections. And so do this like as part of the preparation for the live stream or whatever, uh, then you could actually just duplicate this button like this. And if you knew in advance the sections that you were going to be uh, covering, uh, then you might find it easier to actually go into here and then give this button a name. So uh, this one could be space, let's say this is section one and then we'll come to this one uh, and let's say that that is section two obviously this might be more relevant to uh, whatever you're talking about rather than just giving it section one two and three uh, this one might be uh, product one let's say or product two I hope you understand <laughs> where I'm going with this so uh, there we go we've got uh, product product one. So you can imagine if I just delete all these to save confusing it, you could actually just prepare for your whole show by knowing exactly what these different sections were. And then if I was to start another timestamp log, so I'm going to press that button again. And now let's say we've done our little introduction and we've come to the point where we're talking about whatever we're talking about in section one. So I'll press that button. Then I'll come on and talk a little bit more. And then we go on to section two. Uh, and then maybe we're going to introduce our product three or product one at whatever it is at the end. Uh, so I'll do that. Uh, and then we'll have another bit of a space and then I'll end the recording. So now I've ended that. So let's have a look now at what that particular file looks like. So now with this file, you can see that actually this has created the timestamps uh, all ready to literally just copy and paste into YouTube with the actual section headings. So uh, when I'm doing something that is a little bit more uh, thought out in terms of the exact sections, which really should be every video, but I'll be honest, it isn't. <laughs> then I would go through and actually just add in those things uh, in advance so that as I go through the sections, I can just press the button to, uh, to add those timestamps and have all the titles. If I was going to have this with, um, let's say, uh, different scenes that were were relevant to each of the, you know, intros to each of those different sections, for example, uh, then you could easily create these uh, actions here as part of a multi-action. So, for example, my uh, starting the, uh, the log, uh, the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to come over to here. This is my regular Ecamm uh, setup on Stream Deck. I did do a video all about this, by the way. I have two pages of buttons for my Ecamm Live. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that video up in the uh, top corner. I pointed to the wrong corner. I'm in that corner, <laughs> in fact, just above my head. Um, but what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually for my, uh, when I start recording, I've got this, uh, this record button. But when I click on that one, uh, it's actually a multi-action because what it does is it plays my uh, intro music that I have at the beginning of all my videos. It starts recording uh, and then here you can see I've now added that in as the uh, the timestamp as well. So it actually starts that log when I start my video and that way I know that it's going to start at 00. zero. It's going to be at the right time for, uh, for when I start my uh, uh, the actual recording as well. So everything is going to match up nicely. So that is how I am using Timestamp to uh, hopefully make my videos a little better for search going forward and also make it a little bit more user friendly uh, for all of you lovely people who are watching. Um, if you found this video useful, then of course, don't forget to go down, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if it was really helpful, then you can always go over to my Buy Me A Coffee page. That is the easiest way to uh, support the channel on a one-off or ongoing basis. As I say, I hope that's been useful. I'm going to leave a link to all of my other Stream Deck videos over on the right-hand side, uh, so don't go anywhere. Plenty more content coming up. But until the next video, have a wonderful day.